If you want to find out how to make this metal clip wallboard and this marble sunglass holder, stay tuned. So we're going to start off with our two boards and we're going to use them to measure out our contact paper. You don't need to cover the full board. So if there is a gap showing in the back, that's going to be okay because these will be hanging on the wall. So once you go ahead and measure out and cut your first piece of contact paper, just use that as a template to measure the second piece of contact paper as well. Once you go ahead and get everything measured out, just start at the corner of one of the sides of the contact paper and remove the paper backing. That way you'll expose the sticky side that will actually be adhering to the wood. Place your wood in the middle of the contact paper and then begin to fold the sides in. Work slow because you do want to make sure that the contact paper is as smooth as possible on the front and you want to take the time and smooth everything down, folding in the sides as well as neatly as possible because since these will be hanging, these sides will be showing. Here are what the boards look like fully covered in the contact paper. So on our first board, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green washi tape and I will be adding three strips of it to the board. I did not measure anything out. I just made sure that the lines were straight and as evenly spaced as possible. I'm adding the strips of the washi tape to the board to add dimension because I will be adding a sticker on top of the lines as well as a few other things as you'll see in the next clip. So once you have your three lines on the board, you want to turn the board vertical. And here is our little sticker that we're going to be adding. I think it's adorable with its cute little face. You just peel it off and then attach it to the board. Make sure the three little legs line up with the bottom of the board and then just make sure that you take your time and smooth the sticker down so that it will adhere fully. Look at him, it's adorable. Now, I got these little metal clips from Target from their little dollar section and I am going to be adding five of them to the board you can use these clips to add little notes or if you want to add just like say if you have kids and you need to leave them some money you can just clip it to the board so they can grab them as they're out the door i'm using this fix it all adhesive and just applying it to the back of the metal clips and then sticking it to the board now of course you can use e6000 or hot glue any glue will actually work. So for our second board, we're gonna use this Aztec print washi tape and we're going to start building our design. We're gonna add two lines of the tape at the bottom and then two lines at the top, but the two lines at the top are going to be split. And that's so that I can add some of the succulent stickers from the same sticker sheet as we used in our hanger board because they're just too adorable to not use.
So once I finish placing all my stickers, I'm gonna use this gift ribbon to apply two lines to the board and this is what I'll be hanging my sunglasses from. I am going to begin with taping it to the back. Make sure that you add a lot of tension to the ribbon, making it pretty tight because once you add your sunglasses to the ribbon, then it'll go ahead and loosen up. So tension just like this is perfect. And then once I finish getting both lines added to the board and taped down, then I'm gonna go back in and add some glue just for added reinforcement because I don't want the ribbon to end up falling off with just the tape. So for our last step, we just want to add a hanger to the back. I'm using a sawtooth hanger. I already drilled the hole and added the screw for the first side. I am now going ahead and finishing up with the screw. Sorry about the table shaking, you guys. Once you add that in, it attaches very firmly. So you won't have any issue with this falling out. Then you just want to repeat that same process with the second board. And with that, here is the finished product. I think that these boards came out so well. What do you guys think? I love how multifunctional they will be. I will be able to hang up all my sunglasses, get them nice and organized, and the little board will be great for adding little memos or notes or even quick little grocery lists that I need to jot things down on. And they are very space efficient because they will just hang on a wall and you don't have to use a table or anything to hold these up. I also really like that the colors are really bright and pretty and they just bring happiness when you look at the colors. So what do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below as to which one is your favorite. Thanks for joining me again for another video. I really am enjoying making these videos for you guys. The projects are turning out so well, even when we have mishaps. Make sure that you leave a comment down below as to which of the two you enjoy the most this week hit that subscribe button because we have way more videos coming up and please share this video yeah, I know you have a friend or two that would love to make these DIYs all right guys I will see you next week wherever you are whatever you're doing I hope you're having a great day and always keep creating all right love you guys bye